Hi, welcome to SBR Sports Picks. I'm Peter Loshak. He's Mike Brenner. We are the Odds Couple. This is the uh, MLB Odds Couple show for Wednesday, September 28th. Yes, Mike sir. Brenner, uh, I think I might be more prepared for this show than I've ever been for any show. Wow. I won't need any uh, seconds at the end of the show, and I might have more picks than I've ever given. Holy not because, cow. Just because I looked over the card. Almost every game, there's something I'm liking one wow. or two ways. Why not give them all? First of all, I need the units. Second of all, share it with Why the, va- share, share it with the, uh, with the viewers, right? <laughs> Mike Brenner. All right. Hey, i got to talk about mm-hmm. something real yeah. quick because um, – Wow, I beat that bet box last night, Pistol. Mm, yeah, I, well, your, your I pick felt the Mets. Detroit, you loved Detroit. Detroit too. I yeah, loved it. Mets, I felt the right. Mets because the Marlins had nothing left. Now I did the Detroit pick. It was my power pick. I tweeted out. A guy hit me back. He says, "Look, uh, we never try to talk somebody out of a pick, but you're on the wrong side, buddy. Verlander's mm-hmm. this and that and this and that." And I said, "Hey, I get it. Some people do trends, numbers, and stats, and all that. Yeah. I go on emotions and I go on momentum. And guess what? Today, Detroit's going to get it done. They whoop that ass, buddy. Although, I told you it was happening. Also, trends, numbers, and stats. Uh, you have to take with a grain of salt at this time of the year, the yeah, last week of yeah. the regular season. Very, very and different. If, you don't know who's who. You, you know, there's changes in the, in the sure. playing. Like for instance, San Diego, for example, just brought up a whole bunch of uh, youngsters from AAA. Yeah. Those guys are doing well. Uh, well, just, I just thought as Cleveland. Was going to sit some guys. Mm -hmm. They didn't sit some. They sat them all. Right. right, But yet again, Pete, you know what? Everybody has their angle and their tools for handicapping. I don't knock one. Not one's better than the other. You just find your strength. And it's my strength. And sometimes it pays off really well. And sometimes, hell, it goes south. But I like what's going on. And right now, this is a dangerous time for me on this card. I look at that card and I'm going, whoa, whoa. So you're excited. Let's get into it. I got 20 picks. You're fucked. Yo, feel free to uh, feel free to a tail fade or ignore. All right, start. We'll just run down all the games. Right. First of all, Seattle and Houston. Fister's been. Getting crushed, right? Seattle, game in though. and game out, Oof. and Paxton is uh, Paxton is uh, doing well. I, I had a I winner know. with the uh, with the it. over yesterday. I know where you're and going. I'm taking one. Seattle first five innings. And Speaking of over, take, guess yeah. what? Uh-huh. At the, when, when LA Angels scored seven runs in yeah, the fourth, yeah. I said Pistol Pete's <laughs> done. Guess what? You got to push because nothing else happened the rest and of the game. That was that's beautiful. also why uh, a bunch of my a bunch of times I'll say that I like an under at nine, but yes. not an eight and a half, and that's a perfect yep. example. Exactly. That's exactly that one. I wouldn't have given it at uh, at, at, at eight and a half. Yep. I gave it at nine though. So I'm taking Seattle minus one and Seattle on the first there. five innings, and then I'm, I actually might need a second. I'm thinking about the Seattle team total over just because I checked, and uh, it's four and a half plus today. 106. All right, so those are two picks on that game. Next roll, game, baby. Cubs and Pittsburgh. This is an interesting one. Arietta and Tyon going, and uh, the Cubs are have nothing to play nothing for. Nothing to right? play for, still winning, but here's the thing. Mm-hmm. Arietta has everything to play for. That's he right. better find some steadiness going well, into Well, his the, last start was good, though. That's what I'm saying, but excellent. now he wants yes. another one. He want, And it's him. It, this right. is a competitor. This guy's saying, hey, wait a minute, i got to get back to that same guy I was early on. Last start was mm-hmm. Was beautiful. Now, will he follow it up? Probably. I'm just and laying that's off. why I'm on the under on this one. Seven and a half okay. minus 113. Who's, who's towing the rubber on the other side? Well, it's Tyon, and this uh, is really ooh, yeah. tempting to take for Pittsburgh at a big dog line. Uh, so I was thinking about Pittsburgh plus one, Pittsburgh on the second half. Uh, I will actually take Pittsburgh on the second half only because it's plus 145. I cashed with the plus 150 okay. yesterday. Hey, I'm not going to stop and you. You're a momentum train, baby. There. I'm tempted to take him on the full game, but you're right. I, Arietta <laughs> feels like he's going to, he might throw a complete game. So I'm just going to take him on the second half. <laughs> Next game, this is going to Told you line. about Boston yesterday, that's too. Right, Remember? I right, said that's Pistol right, Pete. That's, that's right. a trap game. Yeah, although, if it had been minus 150, I would have been on it. But at minus 190, I know, I, I know. But David Price got who? All right. You ready to get your mind blown? Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> right. Do it again. Uh, Shelby Miller, Mr. Autofade, is starting today. And I'm taking the under in that game. Under <laughs> eight and a half. <laughs> I think Shelby Miller, his actually last start was good. He didn't get any strikeouts, but he threw six shutout innings. He had a good start last game. And uh, I think good he looking might. Good-looking shirt, too, yeah, by the way. Thanks. I think he might uh, do it again. I'm taking the under, uh, which is a little bit tricky. I wish I was getting okay. nine, but it's eight and a half. And All I'm right. also taking the second half under, which I believe is three plus 125. I'm going to say it. One. It's one of our statements, <laughs> and one of our Twitter guys loves it. He said mm-hmm. it last night. You can't stop them. You can only hope to contain them. Pistol right. Pete. <laughs> okay. And then Baltimore, Toronto. These, these I'm going to give, but this is a this is a little bit more borderline. Yeah, uh, I'm liking Toronto, and I'm liking the under. Uh, I just, uh, Baltimore, yeah. is just a lineup isn't really getting yeah. it done. Liriano Toronto still has to. Yeah, Liriano is off a good start. He's one of these guys who sometimes will give you six great innings with six strikeouts and other times will get inexplicably lit up. So yep. if he gets yep. lit up, that won't be a shock. And then Tillman is a wild card as well. He's coming off of a shoulder bursitis. Uh, th- a, gu- a couple of, uh, no, he has, he's had three starts off of that. His first two starts were good. His last start, he got crushed. So that's a big question mark as sure. well. But and it's I'm, in Toronto, right? Yeah. Ooh. So I'm going to take Toronto minus one and the under at nine at minus 120. Uh, oh, you know, both beat. those could lose. I'm hoping no, that no, at least I, one I like of them, I, I, but they might both cash. Yeah. yeah so there, there you go. go. Next game, moving right along. Mets and 
Miami. I'm taking the Mets minus one again at plus money. Uh, Urena also a youngster who, uh, you know. Uh, hey, Pete, yeah. I said it the other day. Look, you got to fade him after that big win because yep. that team, them, they emptied it out. Right now, they just want to get home. Yeah, they just right. want this nightmare to be over. They don't care. All right, if they win four out of the, or three out of the last four or whatever, they're going to finish over 500 first time since 2009 or whatever. Right. They don't give a shit about that right, right now. Right, this right. team is just ready to pack it in and go home. The right. Mets have to win. I'm telling you, they're going to keep that momentum yeah. going today. And you got Urena on the mound, who three starts ago had a great start, but his last two were shaky. So yeah, got, he's a guy who, had, you know, he's a guy who could easily have a, a lights out start, but more likely, I think he'll be a little bit shaky. It's and then another Lugo. one that was very, very close to Fernandez, and the ones that were closest with him, it's messing yeah. him up. You might want to jump on that. Yeah. I'm telling you. Oof. All right, now next one: Philly and Atlanta. Morgan against Fulton Avich. This is another Ooh. one where uh, I'm going to take the under, but you only know, I because think I was the one that pronounced it right with Fulton. <laughs> yeah, I think seriously, you're, you're Fulton Wages. Where do you get the no agents part? I don't, I don't get that pistol, but that's why we're the odds couple. <laughs> yeah. Okay, go uh, ahead. Anyway, uh, so I'm going to take that. This one is uh, is nine minus one thirty on the under for eight and a half. I feel a little bit more uh, okay. uncertain about it, but I'm going to take the under uh, nine at uh, minus one thirty. And uh, as far as the side, I would lean Atlanta, but I'm not going to take it. Morgan has been uh, has been uh, pretty good as well. Yeah. So uh, Atlanta's Phillies, been a Phillies huge. are having fun. They're just yeah, they're a team that I don't necessarily want to fade. You know, Atlanta's been a huge overtrender at home, but I'm going to take balls, the, Pete. the under I'm going to put it out there because Atlanta, yeah. Philly, something like that right now with five games left. I can't even go near that game, mm -hmm. Captain. I got to stay the hell away. So yeah. I admire your courage. I'm going to take the under on that one, and let me see what the and the first half under is four and a half. If it were five, I take it. I can't take it at I four and a half. I can't keep right. up with you. I don't know. Anybody moving can. on a lot, moving right along. Minnesota and KC. Jesus. I was right about Minnesota. They're just yes. like their bats are just. There's yeah. nothing there, yeah. right? They're just not doing anything. So I'm going to take the under on this one Jesus, as well. There's another one. And get. also the second half under, Minnesota and KC. <laughs> He's saying that with confidence. I love it. Yeah, I'm also, I haven't seen you this fired up in a well, minute. Well, listen, I mean, I did I my research. I downtown I got, last night. I got picks on every game here. Okay. And uh, I'm also <laughs> tempted to take KC uh, as just a small uh, favorite, but I'm going to hold off. Game. Now, the next one. That's, that's going to be on your headstone. I got picks in every game. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I love it. <laughs> nice. Yes, I got picks, picks in every game. All right, uh, next one. This is Here we go. Milwaukee and Texas. Now, oh. Hamill's, uh, you know, coming off a good start, but uh, this is a massive dog line for Milwaukee. What do you think about well, this? Well, because Texas doesn't care, but Hamill's right. cares. He right. wants to right. go. the right. same thing right. as Arietta. He wants to find that groove going in. But the bats... They're, but here's the thing. They got some depth on that team. I, yeah. I, I just couldn't bet against Hamels so, right now. Right. I'm taking, uh, I, I bet the under on the overnight. I'm taking the under. Uh, You're loving them unders. Half, okay. Uh, yeah, nine and a half is available at Bookmaker and DSI. And I'm also going to take Milwaukee at the plus one line just because it's such a huge dog line. Yeah. And, uh, Pete, you know, I'm going to put this out there. Yeah, You're the ahead. totals guy. Go I don't ahead. know. But towards the end of the season, mm -hmm. through your experience, through mm -hmm. all the years, have totals tended to lean towards the under uh, at the end the last five no, days? No, I, I, I wouldn't say that. But I would say that uh, that totals become very uh, uh sort of like unpredictable and they do kind of tend to reverse my my okay. like uh, the last week of the season I tend to uh, to reverse my assumptions of a team like if there's okay. a team I'm thinking that generally I like them on overs or unders I'll usually I'll Flip. sometimes re sense. look to reverse that yeah okay. but so I'm on Milwaukee plus one and uh, and the under on that one next one Tampa Bay and White Sox they the White Sox wow. bats are suddenly lit up I know and, and Sal uh, got yeah. it done yesterday yeah. I almost I was that close to right. pulling the trigger so I'm going to be on the White Sox minus one Who, who's throwing the rubber it's Snell against Gonzalez and Snell is you know a youngster yeah. who uh, can give you five great innings or or, or have control issues. Yeah. And now um, he's coming off a good start against the Yankees at home. Now on the road against the White Sox, I think he's more likely than not to uh, I think so, to too. And hit. you know what? Yeah. Your, your veteran guys like Langoria, those are guys mm -hmm. that shut it down. They shut yeah. it down mentally right now. Pete, I might like that. I might yeah. jump on that so with I'm you. I'm taking the uh, the White Sox minus one, and I'm also thinking about the over eight Thank and you. a half. Jesus, I will Pete. I will take it. Over eight and a half. Yeah. Why not? Minus 108. Next game, Cincinnati and St. Louis. I might stay off this Who's one. Who's pitching for Cincy? He's Clefani. Where's he from? <laughs> Freehold, New Jersey. Damn it, I love that. And and uh, this one I like the over. Oh, but there it is. No, I will take it at eight. At eight and a half, I wouldn't take it. But eight over eight minus uh, 113 at Heritage. Uh, okay. Cincinnati and St. Louis. How about St. Louis? Did you hear the big news? They got a win at home. They yeah, got a win I at know. home. They won a game at home. And I knew that was a game where, uh, you know, it was. You said it. You said, yeah, it. It you said if there yeah, was anybody, was, uh, though. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Ooh. All right, so I'm taking that one. And then uh, moving along, uh, Oakland and the Angels. Are you I ever going to say, Mike, do you have anything? What? Well, did, no, is I, your power I'm, pick in any? Oh, no, we'll, I'm just going to let you roll. Yeah, yeah, I'm just and messing then we'll with get, you. And then we'll get to I got picks in every game. And then I, Oakland I, against the Angels. Now, Sonny Gray is starting. He's only pitching two innings at most, that's literally. That's so gonna shut him so down, it's yeah. going to be a bullpen start for them. And then yep. Meyer on the other side. This guy's a tricky one. This guy has, has great stuff, but he's a big six foot eight guy. He's mechanics. He, he has to, you know. Yeah. Yes, but his last so, start, I believe, was his last start that was good? Yeah, his last start was was good. And I think he might give you five good
And um, as far I, as I, I wouldn't even have the number of bets you already have. <laughs> yeah, right now, so it's I, a lot, but I like them all. I'm yeah, not. I know you to do. I can tell. Yeah. You're, you're, and then wow. uh, the Dodgers and 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 San Diego. I think I'm going to uh, stay off of. Although I'm tempted to give. Uh, if to anything, give, take uh, San Diego. Yeah, I'm tempted I mean, to give San Diego. Uh, Dodgers are in prevent defense mode. You know, yeah. they're just trying to stay healthy before the playoff. Dave Roberts said he, he just doesn't want to hurt, get anybody yeah. hurt. So you know what? I will take San Diego. It's too big of a dog line. I'm going to take him at you know plus one fifty five at at five dimes. All right, and that's it for me, Mike Brenner. Hey, 19 and 7 on my power picks. <laughs> oh, very nice. Yeah, you What's got another winner. 75, 75, 76. something like that. Yeah. Bam! Very nice, Mike Brenner. All right, what do you have from this card? I, I've got one play. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, no, <laughs> okay. I've got more, but okay. I mean, I'm just trying to focus okay. with everything. Okay. But I'm going to, here's what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put this out there. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm riding this thing. Mm -hmm. Mets are going to get it done today. Yep. All right. I'm going to go. What's the money line? For the Mets. Yes. Is, uh, on the full game, is uh, we can give you minus 108 at the Greek is the best line. Line shopping here I'm, at I'm a little shocked at that line yeah. because the yeah. Mets have got to get this win. I'm taking it. I'm going to I'm gonna roll with Mets mm -hmm. on the money line. Mm -hmm. Pistol Pete, um, if it's Fulmer, is he towing the rubber for oh, Tigers? That one, that one had no overnight line, so I'm not uh, looking at that. I, uh, I thought that you one. said every single game you had a bet oh, on, and I believed you. And I do. I don't have that one, but the Yankees one, it's not out yet. I'm taking the under on the opener. <laughs> opener. Under on the God, Yankees, I love it. Boston Yankees under. All right, here's my next thought, okay? okay? All right, I'm going with the Tigers also. Mm -hmm. All right, they got to win as well, that momentum. I, yeah, I know that Indians got their number, but the Indians, they don't even want the best record in the division. They just want to stay healthy. Francona said he just wants to get the guys rested. So I got to go with it. Give me Tigers money line. The Tigers money line will give you the pinnacle opener on that one. Pinnacle. Okay. And that's it. I'm going with those two. All Mets right. money line, Tigers money line, both full games, and uh, Brenner's going to get it done. All right. Sounds good. Why don't you give a plug? Because I need to remember uh, there were two borderline well, picks that I didn't give and I want to well, give them. Well, then I so. better <laughs> probably give three or four plugs. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hey, no, guys, just... seriously, it's that time of year. All right. And when you think there's maybe no bonuses still available, go to the bonus page. All right. Do yourself a favor. Line shopping, shopping for those bonuses. It's everything. All right. And it's a win win situation. You're going to be able to get a great bonus from these books that are graded top with us, okay? So you're getting paid. You're beating the book before you even bet. Just sign up through SBR. We love what we're doing here, okay? We're serious. Even though we laugh, we have a blast, but we're good at what we do. We want to keep doing it. We can only do it with your help, so all right? Open your accounts through SBR. Get your friends. Tell them to watch our videos. Click that like button. On SportsBit today, Paulie and I are breaking down Stanford, Washington. We're breaking down BYU Toledo, and oh, I think there's an NFL game on Thursday night between the Bengals and the Dolphins. Plus, advanced betting strategies to beat parlays. Do wise guys do it? Check it out. Sports bit right now. All right, and I am going to add San Diego second half of plus 150, and I will go with KC as a small yeah, favorite line. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. And I will also go with the, the Angels as a small Jesus favorite uh, as well. What are the odds right. of the bat? So up here we go. Today. I got like 24, 26 picks. The last two times I've done this, I've gone 50 50. Hey, I'll blame me when Dennis but pulls out that shotgun, yeah. buddy. I'm not, I'm not, I apologize I to, to the uh, graphics people here at SBR, but yeah, uh, listen, uh, what, what am I not going to give the picks? And, yeah. and, and it's all about the viewers, right? It's, it's all about, and that's what's most important. But this might set a record for the most picks you've ever had one day. All right, Mike Brenner, that's it for Wednesday. September wow. 28th, win, lose, or push. We'll be back uh, tomorrow for the yes, Thursday we card. will. Do your research before you bet. Check out our ratings guide to see which books have the best ratings and sign-up bonuses. Open up several accounts. Shop for lines at sbrodds.com. Always be ahead of the game.